Good morning and welcome to Spotlight on Business, brought to you by the Irmandale Chamber of Commerce. Yes, uniquely Irmandale. I'm J. Michael McCoy. Thanks for watching and listening to this. I appreciate it. Uh, our goal here on Spotlight for Business is to give you an opportunity to learn about the people who own the places that you do business with. Uh, I'm an old chamber member from, you know, 100 years ago. Uh, not only Urbandale, but any community I've ever been into. And I always said that you should do business with people and not places. And uh, most of the time, you hope that's the owner. Sometimes it's a waitress at your favorite restaurant. Uh, sometimes it's one of the clerks that helps you with your clothing attire and, and your suits and your, your dresses and your shoes and your purses and things like that. Because it's those people who get to know us and know our needs and expectations. And so we want to take our business to them. And that's what the chamber is all about. It's getting to know the people within the chamber so you, know, you can do business with people and not places. I'm here with Janice Wissanan, and she is the uh, director of uh, All People in Urbandale. Uh, I've talked to Mayor Andewig about this, and he realizes that he is secondary to the Queen of Urbandale, and uh, he just gracefully bows uh, before Miss Wissanand. How are you today? I am excellent. How are you, Mac? Good. I love your smile. You always have such a great smile. <laughs> and you also got something good coming up on Tuesdays, but don't tell me yet. I, okay. I want to find out about that. Sounds good. All right. Let's go over here and meet uh, Josh Henrich. Josh is a farmer's independent insurance agent. Did I say the last name right? That's right. Close enough? Pretty close. Okay. I'll answer to anything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Batman. Hey, what? There he is. There he is. Uh, I love you. That's awesome. And uh, you're a farmer's independent, uh, independent agent in Johnston. Now, uh, can I get my two cents worth for a second? Heck yeah. I've had a farmer's independent agent as my insurance agent for 25 years. And multiple, multiple things. It hasn't been Josh. Are you even 25 years old? Believe it or not, I'm now 38. Are you really? You I don't know. look like it. So I want to tell you that I per 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 personally can vouch for the quality of their insurance. And you know when insurance is quality? It's when you have a claim. I'm sorry. It's not about saving 15%. It's not about squirrels or the general or, or anything. It's about Josh being there. When your world falls apart with your car or your house or, God forbid, a life, and this is why you do business with people and not places. But I want to tell you the place, the product, not just the service of Josh, but the quality of insurance that the Farmers Group has is really top-notch. And I mean that. I've had, it, I've had it for 25 years. So, Josh, why? why? Why insurance? You look like you could have been a football star, perhaps a magazine male model. I'm, why, why, why insurance? Well, actually, it goes back to they were the uh, first place that hired me out of college. Uh, I started downtown here in Des Moines at Allied, and uh, my brother was an insurance agent. He got me interested in is that was a way to help people. And I grew up in a small town. Uh, I grew up farming. Uh, I still go up and work on the weekends on the farm. Where at? Uh, if you know uh, Lytton, it's Lytton. a little bitty town, okay. way northwest Iowa, about 110 miles northwest of here. Okay. And I grew up with the kind of guy that didn't write a lot of policies, but he had very loyal customers. That was my insurance agent. Yeah. And I mean, now I already admitted my age, but I, you know, to me, he was the kind of guy that would drive two hours out to the field, bring his Cadillac right out there in the corn stalks, hop in the tractor with me yep. and find out what car this stupid 16 year old bought this week. Yeah. And that to me really stuck with me early age of that's what service is. Yeah. Yeah. That extra mile, that relationship. He'd go golfing with us. I sold him golf clubs. He sold me golf clubs. And, you know, that's kind of when I decided I didn't want to farm. I wanted to do my own business. I kind of looked at what I really appreciated and respected from those business owners when I was a kid. And that's when I decided, you know what? Let's look at this insurance thing. Let's figure out a way we can impact people's lives the most every day. Yeah, and, and you do. Good insurance agents do do that. Because uh, they're, like, uh, they're like our doctors. Yeah, every once in a while we get a checkup, but unfortunately we have to stare, ball, stare at them eyeball to eyeball when something terrible's in the process. All right, so if you weren't an insurance agent, what would you be? You know, I probably, if I wasn't doing insurance, I'd have followed in my dad's footsteps of uh, running a family farm crop production. Okay. And um, what's, your, what's your favorite movie of all time? Oh, that's a tough one. I would have to say still the top runner of all time is going to have to be Shawshank Redemption. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love that movie. It's timeless. Absolutely. And how about your favorite TV show? You know, 
I'm a little OCD. So my There's no wife, such thing as a little. Okay, I'm a lot OCD. OCD. Yeah. I love that one. I my love when OCD person says, I'm, I'm just a little OCD. Is my tie straight? It's like yeah. being a little <laughs> pregnant. Okay. Um, so for me, I love the show The Mentalist. Okay. Oh, Monk. yeah. I like when you combine that attention to detail with solving a mystery. Yeah. Those shows, I've always, I like those. Oh, yeah. I bet when you were growing up, you were like a uh, Saved by the Bell kind of guy. I, I did identify with Screech a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you could spend 24 hours with anybody, living or dead, who would it be? Ooh, living or dead. You know, I'd love to spend 24 hours with my grandma again, my dad's mom. And she's passed on. She has. All and right. what did she teach you? You know, she was the kind of woman who was way ahead of her time. Not too many 15-year-olds can sit down with their grandma in her 80s and talk about their beliefs, Christianity, and just everyday stuff that to a 15-year-old seems really important. Yeah. To an 80-year-old thinking, kid, wake up and smell the roses. This ain't going to matter in 10 years. Yeah. And That's she's called just, wisdom, isn't it? It is. And she was wonderful. Patient, yeah. kind, never said a bad word about anybody. Good, good. Now are you a football fan? I follow a little bit of college football. I follow my Hawkeyes, but that's yeah. about it. My Hawkeyes? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Kirk. Yeah. I, I had no idea we were surrounded by the owner of the Hawkeyes. Exactly. Uh, and if you'll read, what kind of books do you read? Do you like to read the same kind of suspenseful detective things? A little bit. Actually, I got started reading uh, like Dan Brown. So like the Da Vinci Code yeah. and some of those books. Those were really kind of interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I want to pick up the Hunger Games. I just got to find time or make the time. There you start go. picking up on those. You have all the time there is. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, I want to thank you for being here. I and thank you it. for sharing your passion with us. And uh, I didn't ask Josh a bunch of business questions because he answered all the questions in his opening statement. I'm passionate about what I do. I care about my customers. Their needs come first. Uh, hopefully uh, what I said carries a, a pound of weight with you that I've had this insurance company, not the agent, but the company for 20 some years. And I love them. And I've had many claims. Something goes wrong, I expect my re, uh, return on investment for my insurance, and I don't always get it. But uh, it is my job to get in there and ask for it. And guys like Josh, they're the ones you want to work with. Raised on a farm in Iowa, what could be better? We'll get him to be a Nebraska fan, and then he'll be perfect. Ooh. Josh, thanks for being here. God thanks, bless. Mike. I'm J. Michael McCoy, now Janice. Yes. Tuesdays. Tuesdays. It's my understanding that the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce has uh, is bringing in uh, some of the best ribs in the world, and every Tuesday you're having a big old pig out with coffee. Yeah. That's her way of saying there's no ribs, there's just coffee. <laughs> but if you want to get to know your Urbandale Chamber of Commerce, it is every Tuesday morning at nine o'clock. It is. Yeah, right there at the Chamber office, hundredth and uh, it's between hundredth and Douglas and hundredth and Hickman. If you're familiar with that area, it's on the west side of hundredth, and it's the old uh, artist furniture. All right, we'll see you later. All right. Thanks for being here. I'm J. Michael McCoy. If I haven't told you lately, thanks for listening. Love this job. Couldn't do it without you. Right here on Spotlight on Business with the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. Uniquely Urbandale.